This is grade two math, and we're going to talk about how to understand addition. This is lesson 1.1. So the first thing we need to know is that this is an equation. 2 plus 1 equals 3 is called an equation. It's also a number sentence. We have two yellow shapes and one yellow shape. This 2 is an addend. That's the plus sign. That's an addend, an equal sign, and the 3 is the sum. It's the total of the three shapes. See? 1, 2, 3. So we have a number sentence, which is also an equation. Now, it can also be written vertically like this. We have two gems and one gem. It gives us a sum of three gems. This 2 is the addend. That 1 is an addend, and that's a sum. So we can do our math problem going across horizontally like this, like a sentence, or we can do it vertically stacked like this, okay? You probably remember that from first grade, right? So let's see if we can answer some of these. Do you know what numbers are missing? We have one, two gems here. So we're going to put a two here. We have one, two gems here. So how many gems do we have in all? The total, the sum, is one, two, three, four. So we put a four here after the equal sign. How about here? We have one, two, so we put a two here. We have one, two, three. We put a three here. Now we count them all together to get our sum. One, two, three, four, five. We have five. How about this one? We have one, two. We have one, two, three, four. Now we count them all together to get the sum. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try this one. We have one, two, so we put a two here. And we have one, two, three, four, five here. We count them all together to get our sum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven orange squares. Now let's try it vertically. We have two blue diamonds, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six blue diamonds. When we count them all together, we're going to get our sum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try this one. We have two green triangles, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven green triangles. When we count them all together, we're going to get our sum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine green triangles. Now we have gold diamonds. We have one, two, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When we add them all together, the two plus the eight, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten gold diamonds. As we add two plus zero, we get a two because we're not adding anything to it. When we add 2 plus 1, we have 1 more than 2, so we have a 3. Now, can you see the pattern of what's happening as we add 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, then 6? See how it keeps going up by 1 more? Like we're just counting? The sum goes up by 1 more. Every time we add 1 to this add end, the sum goes up by 1. See that? Let's try some more. How many do you see here? We have one, two, so we're going to put a two here. And we have one, two, three, four. When we add them all together and count them all together, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have one, two, three. And we have one, two, three, four, five. When we count them all together, we're going to have our sum. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Now we just have one here, and we have one, two, three, four, five. When we count them all together, we get our sum. One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't have any here, do we? So we have a zero. And here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. When we count them all together, we get our sum. Well, we just have the six, don't we? So zero plus six is six. Let's try this one. We've got one, two, three, four. There's four, right? And we have one, two, three. When we count them all together, we get our sum right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's try this one. I'm going to try something new with this one. We have one, two, three, four, right? And we have one, two, three, four, five. Now, instead of counting from one and counting each one of these, we know there's four there, don't we? So we can just say four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We already counted those. We know there's four there, don't we? Let's try it with this one. We've got a bunch of letter D's, don't we? We have one, two, three, four, five letter D's. And here we have one, two. So instead of starting from the beginning, we know there's five here, don't we? So we can just say five, six, seven. There's seven letter Ds. Let's try this one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. And we have one, two, three, four. When we total them all up together and count them all together, we have our sum. Now we know there's six here. We already counted them and wrote a six, didn't we? So we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See how we can just start counting from the number we had? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We don't need to start counting these from the beginning, do we? To count all of them. We already know there's six. All right? So this is understanding the beginning of addition, and it's really a review of what you learned in first grade. All right? I'll see you next video. Practice. Bye.